Hey, what's going on guys? It is TC here back with another episode of TC Talks. I know it's been a while, but I've been busy. I've been uh, getting some new work involved, so I'm working a lot more now. And honestly guys, TC is exhausted. So I do apologize for that, but here we are back with another episode for you guys. I wanna ask you to please subscribe. Audio is still an issue. Uh, the complexity of being able to get the uh, the videos from one camera to another has been a little too much to bear. Uh, this phone that I have, unable to uh, work with me here, still haven't gotten it fixed. That's how busy I've been, guys. See, it's not just you guys. It's it's everything that's kind of been backed up, put on the back burner. Uh, the stove is getting overwhelmed, though, but we're not going to worry about that. But there is something that we got to worry about, something that we definitely need to hit the panic button for guys and that is the chicago white Sox. okay now i know what you're thinking tyler tc come on it's it's not even halfway through the season the Sox are still hovering around 500 there is time to correct all this there's no need to panic but let me tell you exactly why it is time to panic because i was going out I, as you guys know I'm, i produce our weekly radio show that we do on sportstownchicago.com, 5 p.m. on Wednesday nights. But I, while I was doing that, I was going over some old audio, and I'm listening to these Sox clips, and I see the Tim Anderson uh, home run walk-off at the Field of Dreams, and I hear this one quote from, uh, uh, what is his name, Steve Stone, I believe it is, the White Sox announcer. He goes, you know, the, the, the Sox aren't celebrating too much right now is when they just finished up their season. Uh, they're not jumping up and down or anything because they know they're not going to be satisfied if they don't have a deep postseason run. As we all know, they dropped the first series against the Astros of that season. So, obviously, they did not set out and achieve that dream. So, why am I saying it's time to hit the panic button? One... When I look at that Field of Dream game, that should have been the catalyst to the Chicago so White Sox just taking over the league. Now, here's why. That game was against one of the best teams in the league. I know the Yankees had a little bit of an off year comparatively, especially compared to this year in the previous season. However, they're the New York Yankees. They're always able to spend a ton of money to put a good team on the field so they might not always be the best but at the same time it's always going to be a team that you have to be fighting against all nine innings and that is exactly what happened in that field of dreams game even going past regular innings into extras Tim Anderson needed to walk it off in order to win now with that game not only was it the start of something new for the for Major League Baseball because that was the first Field of Dreams, uh, game, series, everything. It could have been a new start for the Chicago White Sox. And the reason I say that is because this was the that was the most watched baseball game in, a, in decades. A decade, 15 years, something like that. Something ridiculous where there hasn't been a baseball game that popular in a while. So, with that in mind, that means there was this whole audience that was able to see the Chicago White Sox go out there, fight a hard-fought battle, and beat the New York Yankees. On top of that, to cap off the season, they would go on to win the AL Central. Or, hold on, let's back it up, back it up, back it up, back it up, back it, back it, back it up. At the All-Star break of last season, the Chicago White Sox are the number one team in baseball. One, like, the team to beat. By the end of the year, they are one of the teams that just barely escape into the playoff race. If their division, the AL Central, wasn't as so bad as it was, it would have been up for grabs, especially if you look at how it is this year where it's obviously going to come down to the Twins or the White Sox, and then the everyone else is just going to finish. Um, but 
Last year, the Sox had that advantage of not having somebody really giving them a run for their money. This season, the White Sox have the Twins to worry about, so that's going to be something that, that's concerning. There's always, there's always going to be a team at this point that's going to be there every step of the way, regardless of what the White Sox do. But last season, they give up that first place in Major League Baseball status, and they kind of fall just to a, a good team. And it is at that moment where you kind of see a shift, almost. You see the White Sox going from this deadly team that looks like it's on the rise. The ability to hit the long ball is unmatched. You got speed in the outfield. You got amazing shortstop in Tim Anderson. You got all you'd want. You got young guys. You got veterans. Everything seems to be falling into place. And then they go to a first round exit against the Astros, losing three ugly games, able to sneak in a win though, so we gotta give them that credit, able to get a victory against the Astros, but again, three bad losses. These weren't just, you know, ah, oh, three to five games. These were, these were ugly, ugly losses, substantial losses that just can't be happening as uh, if you're the White Sox, especially based off the season that you had. So now here we are, with the Chicago White Sox. Coming into this season, the expectations are so high. They kept most of the team from last year. Starting pitching kind of looked like it was gonna be an issue, but there were some corrections. The bullpen got better. Then honestly, the pitchers that we were talking about in the start at, for the starting rotation have been doing better than expected. But at the same time, they're not they're not playing at the level that they need to be at. Dylan Cease probably and is the probably the only guy that's been consistent. Kopech, sorry buddy, cannot forget that monster, that freaking blackjack dealer out there. Just the absolute ace of the Chicago White Sox right now. Dylan Cease was having a great year, had a little rough outing, but that's okay, it happens. But Michael Kopech has just been an absolute beast. And unfortunately, White Sox hitting hasn't been able to pick him up. And honestly, I've said it once, I'll say it again, it is because they do not have a balanced lineup. This is a home run center team, and while it's important to be able to hit the home run, there is nobody on the White Sox team besides Tim Anderson, who is hurt, who is able to get consistent hits, who is able to actually, you know, bat with some sort of, um, you know, consistency to him, essentially. So, if I'm looking at the Chicago White Sox, it's time to start hitting the panic button. Not first place in the, in the AL Central. Not good enough to be searching for a, a uh, wild card spot and barely above, if not below 500 right now. Always fighting, it seems like, to try to stay right at 500. Never taking the steps necessary to go above and beyond. So that's what I would be concerned about if I'm a Chicago White Sox. All the momentum seems to be sucked out of the building. There was so much to build on last year, and now it's just gone. That fire that was there after the Field of Dreams game just seems to have all but, uh, you know, disappeared. But the Chicago White Sox, so high expectations, but now it's honestly looking so scary. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. Do you agree with me? Do you think the White Sox are in some serious trouble at this point? Do you think that the the match that was struck during that Field of Dreams series has been um, extinguished? Or do you think the White Sox are just letting the uh, fire swell up before they really pop off? Let me know in the comment section down below. Let me know if you enjoyed the video by leaving a like. Subscribe for more content and let us know what you would want to hear about some sports down in the comment section below. We talk baseball, basketball, football, all things Chicago sports and whatever you guys feel interested in. So again, let us know what you think would be a fun topic for TC Talks. Until next time, I'm TC and stay classy.